We are going to be talking about the rumoured Canon EOS R6. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hello everyone and thank you for joining me at IR Photo Tours. Can I just ask you very kindly just to subscribe down below if you like my channel. That would help this channel amazingly. Thank you very much. I am really striving to get up there to a thousand subscribers. We're doing really well. So please, please keep it going for me. Thank you very much. Now moving on, we have got the new rumoured MR6, sorry, the Canon R6. The rumors are still rumors, let me say. They're not facts as yet. So the new Canon EOS R6 is showing up as a certification under the name DS126831. Now we've got that one out of the way. What specs does this camera have? Well, the specs are 20 megapixels full frame CMOS sensor. We're not sure what sensor that is, whether that be the Digic X, not sure. Very possibly, since they've got the Digic X in the Canon EOS R5. Now that's um, all coming out very, very shortly. There's lots of specs on that at the moment including 45 megapixel CMOS sensor, which is the D -D 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 Digic X processor in that. Um, it's also got 12 frame, 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 frames a second mechanical and 20 frames a second silent mode. The uh, EOS R6, it has IBIS, believe it or not. Um, I believe that the IBIS will, will work with the IS um, on the EF lenses. I think that's how, it, how that's going to work. Um, it's also got full HD at 120 frame, 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 frames a second. It has 4K at 60 frames a second. Let you into a little secret of what I do. Uh, what I can tend to do is I shoot in HD and then I upload in 4K. Now most people will go the other way around, but there's no point. If you look at the, my recent videos and look at the 4K ones and then look at the HD ones, I bet you can't really tell a lot of difference there, especially if I'm using the Canon EOS R. At the moment, I'm actually shooting on the Canon M6 Mark II, but I digress. Let's get back to this Canon EOS R6. It's got du 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 dual card slots, so it's aimed at, it looks like it's aimed at the professional, um, but who knows? Um, you know, dual card slots. What, what's the dual card slots? Now let's zip, zip, zip back to the R5 just for a second, because that has dual card slots as well. And one of them is going to be an SD card. Now you might think 8K video. I don't think the SD card slot was designed for the 8K video. Main card slot in the Canon EOS R5 is a CFX Express card. I think I said that right, I might not have done, you know, apologies, but it's the latest card. Now these cards are getting up to about 300 pound a card. So bear that in mind when you buy the R5 and whether you want to buy the R5 for video, because you're going to have to be quite serious about video, aren't you? If you buy this R5, you're going to have to be incredibly serious. 300 pound on cards and you know, 8K video. You're gonna to have to have a big computer for that as well to hold all that storage and all that file sizes. With the uh, Canon EOS R6, I believe that if that's got two card slots, is one of them gonna be a CF, CF Express and uh, an SD card slot? Now, why have we got an SD card slot and then a, a massive CF, CF Express card slot? Well, I, my, my belief is that if people are using that R5 camera for uh, photography mainly, then they'll probably only use the CF, uh, the SD card slots or the SD card, and then probably, possibly go up 
and get the uh, CF Express card later on. I don't know, unless people own the 1DX Mark III, which has the CF Express card slots in them. If they've got a card, card already, then great, well done. Lovely old job. So I like the camera to come out first and see what all the niggles are first. You know, it's a big camera, it's a big chunk of a camera. I. I'm starting to think, well, if it's, if it's 45 megapixel sensor and it's um, 12 frames a second, how quick is that, how quick is that camera going to buffer without having two digit processes in there like the Canon 1DX Mark III? Who knows? I don't know. Um, so I'm holding thought on this Canon EOS R5. It sounds like a beast, but hey. But let's get back to the Canon EOS R6. Now, it's speculated that it's gonna have dual card slots. We've done that. So, uh, no top-down screen. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what that's gonna involve uh, and, and who that's going to entail for the photographer in general. Uh, a lower resolution EVF than the EOS R5. So it's gonna be a lower e e EVF resolution. Built a uh, build quality not as good as the EOS R5, so uh, that makes sense. I get the impression going back to the EOS R5 that this is going to be a little bit of a you know, you're going to have a pro camera and then you're going to have a uh, like a D800 or something like that, um, on, on that side of it. But I believe it's a, it's a full frame anyway, so it's not like a D800, but it'll be a it'll be more like the M6. I would have thought. I think they're probably covering the M6 uh, in this respect of the uh, EOS R6. So it, it kind of rings true to me. Um, it's got Bluetooth. The batteries are the same as the EOS R5 and the EOS R. Um, they are LP E6NH. Well, I believe the uh, batteries that we use are these ones uh, for the Canon EOS R. And they are, uh, let me have a look, LPE6N. So that, that one has a H on the end. So what's that involve? Mm. Maybe it's a higher spec battery, um, but you know, it's, it's possibly a better battery than the Canon EOS R. Maybe there's more capacity in it and uh, you can shoot for longer. I've not really had any issues with the Canon EOS R that I own. Um, I could shoot all day, literally all day if I want to, on one battery. So let's move on. Um, so what else has this little little camera got? Because uh, is it going to be as big as the Canon EOS R5? Who knows? Um, like I said, dual card slots, uh, the, the 60 frames a second in 4K, so it does 4K. Is it going to be uncropped 4K? Uh, who knows? The way they could cripple it is is by severely crippling or cropping the 4K as they have done with the Canon EOS R. But saying that, you can get round that. EOS R5 and the EOS R6, they will have an adapter to go with it um, so you can fit all your EF, EF mount lenses onto them. Um, and even the EFS like the Canon EOS R has. Now, going back to the Canon EOS R, I know that I can put EFS lenses on there and I can put EF lenses on there. So I am, and also RF lenses, of course. When the Canon EOS R came out, that was a pleasant surprise. That, to me, was going to be a free grand camera. And it wasn't. It was £2,300 with the adapter as well which uh, apparently was £300. I think it was about £200 now, just for the basic adapter. But £300 for, a, for an adapter that has no glass in it is like, whew, yeah, extortionate money, in my opinion. With all that said, the R6 looks to be quite a nice, small, full-frame camera that is covering the um, Canon DSLR side of things. I, th I believe that the... Uh, AR6 is going to cover the Canon 6D Mark II. It does seem that Canon are going heavily into mirrorless and I can see good reason why. Um, you know, you haven't got a mirror to flap up and down. 
uh, you can make the camera smaller, you can make the uh, frame rate a lot higher uh, because there's no, no moving parts as such with the mirror um, and it just makes sense. It makes sense. That's, that's the reason mirrorless is so good because you can make it smaller, um, you can make the frame rate higher. Um, so for sports and wildlife, fantastic. I mean, I'm shooting on the M6 Mark II right now and that has got capabilities of shooting 30 frames a second. That's mind blowing. And in its normal state of mind and mechanically, they call class it as mechanical, it's 14 frames a second. What a blisteringly superb small camera. I bought this camera for vlogging, uh, mainly for vlogging, but I have used it for macro, I have used it for um, bird wildlife, I've used it, f I haven't really used it much on anything else other than that. So bird wildlife and, and macro, and obviously I vlog with it as well. This is my new vlogging camera. So mirrorless, it is tiny, it is small. That means you can put, you, you can buy a relatively cheap gimbal you can use with this uh, system and this get up. It makes things a lot cheaper to use. Don't get me wrong, this camera is not the cheapest camera in the world. You can get a lot cheaper than this, of course you can. But it's a mirrorless and it's the, and with the technology it has and the frame rates it has and what it has, uh, it's got eye detect, it has everything like that. It's got 4K uncropped and you're sh I am shooting in 4K uncropped right now and, and it is, it works a tree. It works an absolute tree. I'm, I'm shooting on a 16 millimeter um, Sigma lens, which is the uh, F1.4, and it just works really, really nicely, as you can probably see here. The EOS R6, is it gonna be for you? I don't know. To me, it sounds, that sounds like it's covering the, 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 the 6D, if I'm honest. And that's, uh, the 6D users might look at that and go, hmm, that's enough of a, of a jump and an upgrade for me to get. But I can't see it. Um, it's 20 megapixels. It's not a massive jump in megapixels, so it wouldn't really, it wouldn't interest me as a landscape photographer. The Canon EOS R5, however, that does appeal to me. It appeals to me in many ways. The 12 frames a second is more than ample. I mean, you think about it, the 1DX, that only had 10 frames a second not that many years ago. So I had the Canon 1DX and that was 10 frames a second and that was like blisteringly fast at that particular time. So you got the R5 and then you got the R6. Now I believe Canon EOS R5 is gonna be the winner over this one. R6, I believe, is probably going to be a consumer kind of level uh, camera. I, I would imagine that would be a priced around about for what the, the specs that I'm looking at there, I reckon you're looking at probably around about 18, dare I say about 1,800, 2,000 pounds. I think the R5, however, is going to be about three and a half K possibly. I think this, this, this camera is going to be the, uh, the beastie out of them all. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. You've been watching IR Photo Tours and it's Ian Robinson here. Thank you very much and it's been a lovely old job.